All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Vancouver Huskies franchise, expansion franchise, whatever the hell you want to call it. Last episode, we simmed 11 games, I guess. I don't know. I'm looking at the bottom right. I guess we simmed. It's been a month since I uploaded the Vancouver Grizzlies, my league franchise thing. Um, anyways, you already know what the team is looking like. We signed Hassan, DeMar DeRozan, and Derek White in free agency. Those were our big signings so far. They've been playing pretty well. I mean, our starting lineup, RJ Hampton. Oh, you just got to look at the new jersey. I don't know if I'm going to block that out. Probably not. But yes, we do have new uniforms. Um, If we go to design uniform, I said in the last episode I wanted new uniforms. And here they are. I made them myself. These white ones are my are my favorite uniforms right here. Especially, they're just so clean. I love the new font. It's a lot better. We are sponsored by FanDuel, apparently. That's just the one I picked. These black ones are right. I mean, they could be better. I should have made the Huskies, like, the inside black, but it is what it is. I really like these alternates, too. One thing I should have done with these is made the actual Huskies logo gray with, like, a white outline. That would have looked nice, but I do like these alternates. I just noticed that there's an, also another Nike logo over there. I should probably get rid of that, but I'm too lazy to. But, yeah, the white ones are my favorite. The grays are my second favorite. They basically are city uniforms or statement uniforms. I wish they gave you an option to make a city uniform. And our away ones, they're all right. I mean, they can't get better. I'm not sure if, did I, I don't know if I did anything to the arena. I forget. Oh, yeah, I did. So, the, you don't get to see the arena much. But um, all I did was um, I changed the font on the outside. So, it was, uh, it was kind of like the Grizzlies font before. And I made it match kind of like what our font is, you know, logo-wise. It's not really matching the font on the jersey because they don't have that font. But this court is beautiful, honestly. It's a really nice court. Maybe we'll see it in action. Maybe not. Um, the Sixers, I, this is just a game I sim to. Who are you? He's their starting power forward. Okay, then. This is a very old save file. So, yeah. James Harden is not on the Nets. And Reggie Perry is starting for them. So, yeah. This is an old save file. Don't expect, you know, the trades that happened. Uh, Gabe fits it starting for the Lakers and he's playing very well. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is Giannis on the Lakers? When did this happen? And Nicky's on the Lakers. Why is Giannis on the Lakers? Um. Well then. I never checked the transaction report from the offseason. Wow. Okay, that's different. Now I gotta go down here and find all the imp big signings. So yeah, Giannis signed on like the first day of free agency to a max with the Lakers because this was made this file was made before he signed the Supermax with the Bucks. Paul George is on the Hawks now. Kyle Lowry's on the Heat, which could happen in real life. Dinwiddie's back with the ball. Harold's with the Raptors. Oupre's with the Grit. What is going on? What is happening? Anthony Davis is on the Emeralds? Oh, well, I should have. Okay, I should have. Everyone left. Like, everyone left their team. Legit, like, everyone left their team. Kyle Collins is on the Mavericks now. Lou Will's with the Emeralds. Everyone, like, no one resigned. Laurie Marketing resigned. whoop de doo Aaron Baines is back with the Celtics. That's insane. He went, Anthony Davis went to the Emeralds. Julius Randle's on the Spurs now, but he's not as high as an overall because of the his very old file. Josh, the Emeralds went crazy. Oh, I'm going to have to look at their roster. They went nuts this offseason. Mel's back with the Knicks on, a, like, a $15 million contract. Malik Monk, Dwight with the Knicks now. Wow, I did not know this many big moves happened. D Rose is with the Spurs. Um, Ursani Lisova. I don't see, Max Struess is with the Rockets. Um, who? What the hell? Power Forward, Black Lives Matter, Black. Um, 2K. He might have been in a draft class, to be honest. He might have been in the draft class. That's interesting. I'm gonna check. I don't know if that's supposed to be a real player or not. Um, Luke Kennard's on the Spurs now. Damn, Chris Dunn is on the Emeralds. I can't. I don't, I don't know if we had him. I think we had him on our team, didn't we? 
We just didn't re-sign him. That is insane. I don't think there's any other big signings. Um, yeah, no, there's no big signings. The rest are probably just going to be re-signed. Yeah, Kendrick Nunn re-signed to a... To, oh, yeah, they were restricted, so... They came back on their restrict. Marco Fultz is with the Pelicans. Schroeder's with the Mavs. Okay. Mike Conley's with the Bulls. Lonzo's with the Emeralds. Yep, yep, we're back to the crazy. Okay, makes sense. Avery Badley's with the Bulls. Badley, Bradley. George Hill's with the Hornets. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think that might be the end of the big signings now, right? That should be. Dion has a job now. He's with the Wizards. And yeah, there it is. That is crazy. So let me look at the standings. The Knicks are the first in the East. With OG Ananobi averaging 15. Obi Toppin's dropping 25 a game. So Obi Toppin just leading them right now. Celtics are two. I don't think they made any big changes. This this episode has just become looking around the league and seeing what the hell happened. Um, Sixers, we know they didn't make any changes. The Cavs got a new center in Chris Boucher. Um, Nets, we already know they didn't make any changes. The Heat, Precious is starting now. And they have Kyle Lowry starting at point guard. I forgot that. I, I like that pickup, though. Um, Cassius Winston. Okay, he's playing pretty solid. We got Marquise Chris. We can, we can use a big like him. Kendrick Nunn's a 74 overall now. Damn. It must be his confidence is just low. Um, yeah, I obviously I'm looking at the Heat. They're my favorite team. The Raptors are awful, but they're somehow the eight seed right now. Um, they must have a player hurt. No, no, they, they don't have a player hurt. I guess Batum is just their starting small forward. They got Millsap, Yaka Pertles back. Um, West the Wizards look exactly the same. The Pistons got Killian Hayes, Jalen Green, Sadiq Bay, Blake Griffin still. Isaiah Stewart's their starting center now. This is our team. Chris Dunn is a starting point guard for the Magic now. Um, is Markel hurt? Oh, he's not on the team anymore. I forgot what team he went to. Yeah, he's not on the team no more. The Bulls, obviously, they got Dinwiddie now. Um, the Hawks, they got Paul George to put alongside Trey Young. He's not playing well. Um, but that's kind of crazy. Um, the Hornets are the Hornets. They added Cousins as their starting center, and then the Bucks are just in shambles they're in shambles what about the west the mavs are 12 and 0 with schroeder as their starting point guard lucas averaging a 32 point triple double they have james and oh yeah i forgot they signed john collins yeah that front court's very good <laughs> that's a very good front court and they have a good bench the emeralds are the two seed with lonzo ball josh richardson kyle kuzma who was on our team last year Anthony Davis, Mo Wagner, Lou Will. Who else? Is there anyone else that was on our team? I don't think so. Wait a minute. I thought Chris Dunn was on this team. Am I crazy? What team is he on now? I already forgot. Chris Dunn, Chris Dunn, Chris Dunn. There he is. He got traded and he was on our team. So Seattle literally just said, F it. We're going to go sign everyone that was on, you know, the other expansion team. Um, Other than that, I don't think there's any other big changes right Winslow's on the Kings now um Blazers are the same Bull Bulls are starting power forward now Isaiah Thomas is a starting point guard for the Clippers now and Tyler Johnson is their starting shooting guard alongside Kawhi wow Kawhi is gonna have to bat pack bro this team is not good I might why is Morris off the bet you know what I was gonna move Ibaka to power forward but they can do whatever the hell they want this Lakers team is bat bad besides LeBron and Giannis campaign is actually playing really well recently so he's a starting point guard Max Struess and uh, not Max Struess Gabe Vincent's playing well LeBron averaging 26 they have Giannis freaking Antetokounmpo no this team's not terrible they have JaVale back uh, oh no this is before the trade uh, they traded him to Cleveland correct or did he sign no I think they traded him to Cleveland they traded him to Cleveland they have Iggy now Wow, this is this is pretty nuts. This is before um, Christian Woods update, so he's bad. Starting point guard for the Jazz is Quinn Cook, who's playing pretty decent. I, I yeah, I mean, I'm j I was just surprised on all the changes that happened. That's kind of crazy. Then, oh yeah, D Rose is on this first. All right, I spent way too long on that. 
Anyways, so far, 11 games into the season. DeMar's leading us in scoring with 19 points a game. Um, Michael Porter Jr. is averaging 18. RJ Barrett's averaging 17. I expect their scoring to go down with DeMar on the team now. And with RJ Hampton again, the full start this season. So he's averaging 13 and 7 with four rebounds. So he's playing really well. Um, Jonathan Kuminga, our rookie, is averaging 12 points off the bench because DeMar is starting. Hassan is our starting center, averaging 10 and 12 with two blocks. Scoring Drogic 9 off the bench, Derek White 7. He's here for defensive purposes. Because our team defensively sucked last year. But I'm going to sim a good amount. I'm going to sim to the contract extension. I think we can sim through there. Um, I'm going to leave rotation as is. I actually want to sim cast it. Let's, we'll, we'll sim cast this Heat game because, you know, they're the Miami Heat. They're my favorite team. Uh, and we just lost Michael Porter Jr. That's amazing. Um, I, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna put Kuminga in the starting lineup at Power Forward. Put Kuminga in. Greg Brown is also our other rookie. He's averaging three. Four and three, basically. He's not doing great. Um, Derek White's not getting minutes. I don't know why. Um, we're going to give Drogic that. Rond why is Rondé getting minutes over Derek White? Get Derek White those minutes, please. Um, Kuminga will give you 30. We're going to have to give like 33 to DeRozan. Um, I'll give DeRozan 34. All right, let's go to this heat game. We'll, we'll sim. End up simming with Simcast. We're doing pretty well, though. Um... That's actually not a bad trade. Hassan for Clint Capello, who's on the Pacers now. He's averaging... He's 27, so that's the only reason why I'm contemplating this trade. Because he fits our, um, you know, age gap. Because Hassan's 32. But Hassan is playing better. He's averaging 10, 11, and a block and a half. And he's at... Clint Capello, I can't speak. He's averaging 9, 11, and one block. Yeah, and we have to give up Vernon Carey now. I'm good. I'm good. I'll decline this offer. And we'll go to this Heat game still. No, we are 10 and 9, so oh no, oh, we just went on a big losing streak. Okay. How's Kuminga doing as starter? Um, as starter, 11 points. Five rebounds. Basically, what he was doing off the bench is a little bit better. Shooting very badly, though. Oh, he's shooting awful. Okay. Get your ass back to the bench then. Um, Derek White, he's playing pretty well. He's gonna lose some of his minutes, though. Um, Drogic's definitely losing his minutes. We'll give Hassan 28 again. Damar. We'll give 30 to Hampton. I want them playing around the same minutes. And we'll give Kuminga back his 15. And that is the lineup. Actually, I'm going to give them around 17. Oh, right, you know, I'll take Robert Williams minutes away. We'll give him about 18. I want to run a 10-man rotation. I want, um, whatchamacallit. I already forgot his name to play. Derek White. All right, so we are currently 12 and 12. At this heat game, we won two in a row after, you know, dropping, what, three in a row? Four in a row? Yeah, four in a row. We're currently sitting at the sixth seed, though. The heat are the seventh seed. So if we win this game, we have a chance to... We could possibly move up all the way to four <laughs> if we win this game. So, Simcast, let's see if we can... Hopefully, it's a close game. It's not a close game. I wanted to hop in. It's not a close game. We got blown out by 24. Damar ended up dropping 32, though. RJ Barrett shot bad. Gorn, against his former team, played well. How does San do against his former team? 9, 12, 2. Not great at all. Butler dropped 28. Here will drop 25. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, I don't think there's any trades at this current moment. Let's see. Is any big player hurt? No. Oh, Jokic is. Yeah, actually. Zion's hurt, but just a bruised tailbone. Jokic is hurt. And then, yeah, there's not that many big injuries. Um, award races. Eh, let's go there. Yep, we, I don't think we have anyone. I don't think we're going to have a single player in the award races. Uh, yeah, that's AD and Defense Player of the Year, Most Improved, no one. Okay, that makes sense. All-Star voting, though, do we have anyone? So we're in the East, and we don't have a single player. Sick. Okay, let's send to this um, contract extension thing. Um, we drop a game against the Bulls, but we also won a game. We drop a game. Wow, they really want us on. Uh, we might have to... I was just about to say, we might trade us on at the deadline... God damn it. Why is everyone getting hurt? Damar's tired. Hassan's hurt. He's playing through it. If you're day-to-day, -day, you're playing through it. That's all I know. Uh, well, who are we going to give 11 minutes to? I guess Rondé. Rondé Ellis Jefferson will give 11 minutes to. Simulate through day. Can we stop with the injuries, please? The rotation is this. He's already playing. There we go. So Rondé's going to lose his minutes. He's, he, he made his worth. 
Um, six point. Okay. His bird 36 for Derek White's pretty good, so. That's not terrible. Um. Who would I. Am I stupid? I think it was getting 10 minutes. Uh. Okay, whatever. Greg Brown is not even playing that well. I'm not even sure if we have anyone to re sign. I swear to God, if someone else gets hurt. We're, we were on a little winning streak with 20 and 19. Uh, we're 20 and 20. We're currently still the sixth seed. Only. A game and a half out of five. But other than that, like three games out of... Yeah, okay. We're, we're pretty far back. Let's see our player stats so far. So, DeMar is averaging 21, 3, and 5 on very good shooting. 61%. Um, RJ Barrett's averaging around 20, 4 and a half, 4. Obviously, his scoring went down. His shooting stats also... His percentages went down too. So, that's interesting. That's kind of weird. Michael Porter Jr. obviously went down. His shooting splits went down besides for three and free throw. Like, these two, I expected their points to go down. I didn't expect Michael Porter Jr. to go down that much. Hampton, 12, 5, and 7. He is scoring less. He's also shooting the ball worse. That seems to be a trend. But he is passing a lot more. He's having 7 assists. Drogic off the bench, 11 and 3. Pretty good. Not going to lie. For a 35-year-old, getting paid 15 mil. Um, Kuminga is shooting absolutely awful. But he's averaging 11 points off the bench. Hassan... 10, 11, a block and a half. We might look to trade him, to be honest. He's got some pretty good value. Um, Robert Williams, 6 and 8. He was our starting center last year. He's doing worse. He's off the bench. I mean, what do you expect? Derek White, Greg Brown's not playing well. So, we might look to trade Hassan. Very well might look to trade him. Let's just see our contract extensions. Won't resign, won't resign, won't resign, and won't resign. Okay, I would love to re-sign these two, but they don't want to. Why is Michael Porter Jr. done with Vancouver? You've had your two best years. Yeah, no, they're going to come back. I don't understand why they're angry. There's literally no need for both these guys to be angry. We're in a playoff spot, and you're the top two players on the team. All right, I'm going to trade Finder Hassan and see if we can find a trade. He's on a one-year $11 mil deal of $11 mil. Why are his shoulders so damn big in that photo? Um, I don't know what we'd be looking for here because he's our really our only decent center on the rock. Christian Wood, how you doing, bud? How you doing? He's averaging 11 and 10. He could be our starting center. I like that deal. He's only 26. That's a pretty good deal, to be honest with you. We have to replace him with another center, obviously. Mitchell Robinson, that's very unrealistic. Um, Derek Favors, that's a dumb trade. Marquise Chris and Duncan Robinson, no. The Heat would not want us on back. Um, that, that Christian Wood trade, honestly, is very enticing. I know we're in a playoff spot, so we wouldn't need to trade him. But his value is high, and he's only on a one-year deal. Christian Wood's on a, still got two years left. I think Hassan has a team option, correct? Yeah, I gave him a team option. So, honestly, I think I might do this. This is straight up. Because their starting center right now is this dude. They want to have a power forward. But I'd probably end up just moving, like, Gorgie Dang the power forward for them. They have Stanley Johnson. If anything, I can move Dan um, Daniel House to power forward. Or we can give him one. I don't know if we have one to give up. Um, I don't want to give up Greg Brown. Um, seeing that both these guys don't want to be here, I could trade one of them there. Yeah, I think they have way too much value, though, to be honest. Um, you're on a one-year deal, correct? Okay, can I just not check your contract? Or am I crazy? I just can't get check your contract. All right, we're going to go back to that trade. I just want to see their contract situation. So, Robert Williams, um, one-year deal. And I'm pretty sure they both have no option. Okay, I just can't check Nicholas Claxton's contract. Whatever. Um, I like Robert Williams. I don't see I don't see any of these guys with this team in the future because we got Vernon Carey, who next season is going to be in the rotation. So, I could easily move one of these. I can probably put one of them at power forward. Um, it'll probably be next, next, I can't speak, Nicholas Claxton, seeing that he can actually shoot threes, that's Robert Williams, he is an 82 overall, ooh, okay, we might be able to get even more than that, let's try and throw Hassan and Claxton in the trade finder, maybe we can end up getting a better trade, obviously I'm looking for realism, um, so I still like that Christian Wood deal. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, we don't need any guards. We have plenty of guards. P.J. Washington, I'm looking for more of a center. Um, nah, I think I'm going to try and make a deal for Christian Wood. Um, I don't want Daniel House. 
I don't need Daniel House in return. Um, so I'd move Wood to, I would end up moving him to center. We don't need any bench depth. I just look for, I guess, picks. I mean, if you can give me a pick, the Wizards pick this year, and maybe your pick this year, they might be asking for a lot. They want two. Oh, yeah, no, that's not happening. That's not, maybe, maybe you're, I don't know if they're even in the playoffs. I'm going to ask for a top 10 protected. Maybe they'll do that. No, they still want two first round. Okay. I don't know how good the Wizards are. Maybe your first round pick next year. You still want a first round pick. I don't want Daniel House. I'll throw you a second though. Two more seconds. I don't want Goji Dang. I'll do this deal. We got Christian Wood on the team. I'm going to move him to a center. He, he goes down a lot. I might keep him at power forward and just play him at center. I do want to fix his tendency. Yeah, his tendency is only at 65. We know Christian Wood is balling out. So I'll put, I think 85 is solid for him. We're going to end up playing him at center. I just want to see. So they put Rob Williams at center. See, I don't want to move his position to center because he, he's such a low overall. So I'll do that. They want Kuminga starting. He's ice cold and DeMar's been playing great. That's not happening. Uh, I'm pretty sure Rob, Robert Williams has been our backup. And they got us running a 10-man rotation already. But RJ Hampton's barely getting any minutes. Yeah, no. None of you guys are even getting minutes. Kuminga is not getting that many minutes. Especially the way he's been playing. Robert Williams will get that much. Um, Drogic will drop down to 15. Okay, I like that. That's not bad at all. I'm um, RJ Barrett, 33. 33. Christian Wood. Okay. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now we have, Ham we have the same lineup except we have Christian Wood now. And that, you know, evens out our center position now, seeing we got rid of one. So that's pretty good. System proficiency. Oh, yeah. Mike D'Antoni's our coach. I forgot about that. Okay, anyways, let's keep let's keep um, simming. Let's come to the trade deadline, and that's probably going to be the end. Um, I don't think... Yeah, we already went through the contact extension. I'm going to simcast this heat game again. I want to I wanna watch a heat game. <laughs> My, no, Michael Porter Jr. Why is he... He should be on the untouchables list. Yeah. Michael Porter Jr., RJ Barrett, and RJ Hampton. Um, are untouchables. Where's RJ Hampton? These three are un untouchables. They're going to be our future. So, why is my nose so itchy? Oh, we're starting to lose a lot more. No. With 20, we went on a four-game losing streak. Um, the roster needs to be filled out. Um, okay, who are we going to, who are we going to get? Who's very old? Thanks for downloading. What I download. Thanks for downloading, matching. What I down, okay, whatever. Um, let's, let's bring in J.R. Smith. And, you know, Jared Dudley, he's, he's a good vet to have on your team. So there we go. We got plenty of players now. At least we should. Um, no, my rotation's fine. Yeah, can we stop losing? I know I made a trade that hurt our, um... Ooh, Jay Crowder. That's a bad trade, but I like Jay Crowder. We won two in a row. That's a bad trade. Can we just beat the Heat? Can I at least jump in? Give less minutes to Christian Wood. Are you high? We are blowing them out. We are blowing them out. Okay. Okay. Well, we couldn't jump into a Heat game at all this game. But RJ Barrett drops 25. Porter with 24. DeRozan 22. Where's Wood? 10 points and that's it. He only played not. He got hurt, didn't he? Did Christian Wood get hurt? I don't know why he only played nine minutes. But for the Heat, Bam, Bam had a near triple double. Jimmy didn't play well. Did did he get hurt? No, he didn't. Why the hell did Christian Wood play? Oh, he might have fouled out. Yeah, he probably fouled out. He is playing a lot better, though. Um, I want to sim let's sim cast the team against the Emeralds. We are currently on a winning streak. No, I don't care. What are we on? We're on a six-game winning streak with a five seed right now. This Eastern Conference is bad. Um, okay, so let's sim cast this game against the Emeralds. I doubt we have any All-Stars. I do want to jump in. They have AD. And it's looking like it might be a close game. It's not a close game anymore. Yeah, it's not It's not a close game. We have not been able to jump into any games. But that is seven in a row. RJ Barrett, 25. Drogic dropped 17. Okay. AD dropped 23. We have won seven games in a row. And we're currently 28 and 25. This team is rolling. I just want to see a game to jump into. Can we have some sort of close game? We can't. Nope, we're blowing them out again. Okay. Eight in a row for the for the Vancouver Huskies. Porter Jr. with the double-double. DeRozan, 22. Wood with a very good game. 
Barrett near triple double. Drogic's been playing really well. Um, what about the Wizards? Westbrook, Beal did not play well. Four for sixteen. Right before the trade deadline, can we jump into this game at least against the Pelicans? Will the streak end? This is a high-scoring game, and it's close. Oh, we're up by ten. Oh, it's over. It's over. The winning streak continues. Is that 10 in a row? Nine in a row for the Vancouver Huskies. Zion dropped 29. Oh, they have Markel. That's where Markel went. Okay. Porter Jr. has been killing it in this win streak. Christian Wood also. Wow. Let's see, Christian Wood. How you been doing, bud? 25, 17, 12, 23. I forgot what when we traded him. At least when we traded for him. But either way, he's been playing great. Michael Porter Jr. has also been playing great in this winning streak. Um, let's see. The last L we got was at Cleveland. So 17-22. Yeah, he's, he's been playing amazing. Drogic has also been playing good, hasn't he? 14. He, oh, no. Yeah, he, these last three games he's played really well. Kuminga, are you still shooting terrible? Yep, he's still shooting awful. But it is what it is. We have to trade deadline. I doubt I'm going to make any more trades. Current leaders. DeRose is still leading us in points with 21. Still shooting 61% from the field. Has yet to attempt a three. Um, RJ Barrett, 19 points a game. Um, Porter Jr. guy is shooting stats up, which is good. Christian Wood, we already know, 12, 9. And a block. Um, can I see... When did I trade for him? So I can actually see his stats with us. Where's transaction report? There it is. Um, we signed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me just go to trade. Because we're like the only team that made a trade. Oh, maybe we're not. Okay. We'll go over the trades next episode. There it is. All right. So we made it in March. March 1st is when Christian Wood was a member of this team. So March, that's Michael Porter Jr. Why is my nose so itchy? So March 1st is when we got the trade done. So yeah. Yeah. He's been averaging 16.7 rebounds in a block for us so far. Because obviously we traded for him on the first day of March. So this whole month, he's been amazing for us amazing he's shooting 46 percent from the field 34 from three yeah this this was a good pickup so far <laughs> i'd like to think so who else is doing good for us in march um rj barrett's not doing that well I'm missing michael porter jr must be rj hampton 11 and 7 six rebounds though so that's solid kuminga shooting a nice no, still shooting pretty bad <laughs> um Derek white demar's averaging 19 gordon tragic's averaging around 10 uh, Michael Porter Jr. is averaging 17. Yeah, Christian Wood has been very good for us. RJ Hampton's points went down big time. He's only averaging around 12 points now, but he is averaging 5 rebounds and 7 assists. We have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 double-digit scorers for our team. So our offense must be really good. Am I correct? Is our offense really good? No, our offense is mid. We have a negative point differential. We still have one of the worst defenses in the league. We have a negative point differential, and we are on a 10-game win streak at 30 and 25. Currently, we're two and a half games out of the one seed, which is held by the Miami Heat. Let's go, Miami. We we might be a playoff team. We might be a playoff team. We're sitting pretty thanks to this win streak. The Emeralds are also killing it. Anyways, that's going to be for me. This has been a longer episode. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.